you owned, you know, a name like Alibaba earlier in the year. I don't think you own any Chinese stocks today. Would you ever own them again is the question. I would not own them uh, again uh, for a very simple reason, is that when you own a Chinese stock that's listed in the U.S., that's an ADR, you basically own nothing. And there's a good chance you have no uh, avenue to collect if you get into a dispute. I've sued through my fund uh, Chinese companies that have uh, ripped off U.S. shareholders by taking companies private at far below what they're worth. And since they're Cayman listed companies, you go there. But these companies are, I won't get technical here, variable interest equities, VIEs. And they were created to get around the Chinese laws that forbid foreign ownership in critical industries. But they're all critical industries. So it's technology, it's telecom, et cetera. So just the, that, just the very fact they're created to get around the law is a warning signal. And what do these VIEs own? They don't own any assets in the Cayman Islands. They don't even have an office or employees. All they do is have a right to the revenue stream or the law stream of these companies. Yeah. All the assets remain. And the Chinese government's repeatedly said, we don't like these. So right. on well, one let, hand, you've got the let, let me ask oh, you this, right. though. Let yeah. me ask you this. Mm -hmm. um, in the way that I tossed to you at the very beginning, I mentioned that you owned BABA as recently as, let's say, the beginning of this year. Now, right. all of this may be escalating today and recently, but it's not like it's all that new of this interference you're getting um, from the authorities over in China. So what was the breaking point for you which made you say, I'm never going to buy any of these stocks again, if as recently as six months ago you were still willing to try and play the game in these names? Well, actually, six months ago, if, if you go back to what I said, I owned Baba as a trade, momentum trade. And it was thought some point, at some point that Biden was going to be easier on the Chinese companies. It turns out he's tougher. And the reason I sold it is because Jack Ma yeah. got so arrogant, hey. he attacked the Chinese government.